Hallelujah, God bless you. This is God's servant, Apostle Ayok Cedric, and you're welcome to this channel. I know that this has been a great blessing to your life, and I believe that the Lord will speak to you this day by his word. Make sure you like, make sure you share, and make sure you subscribe, and let somebody get the good news you are receiving every day from this channel. The Lord sends me today to share a very important word with you. He asked me to speak about forgiveness. And I'll be praying for your hearts because a lot of times we have expectations of people and when the expectations fail, we tend to be hurt and broken. You see, a broken heart cannot fulfill a destiny. Are you hurt? Are you sad? Were you disappointed by life, by people? Were you treated badly? Did you help someone and they did not pay you back with good? Did you invest your life on someone and the person treated you like a rag? The Lord sent me with a word for you today to tell you, forgive them. Why should I forgive the man of God? Not for them. You forgive them for yourself. Let me show you a very important scripture in the book of Luke chapter 11. The scripture says in verse 4, it says, and forgive us our sins for as we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. You must understand that unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting another person to die. Every time you don't forgive people, you stop, not them. Your capacity to forgive promotes you from being a mortal to becoming an immortal. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, which means God created space for our excesses before we were even born. Oh boy. Speaking about the man called Solomon, God said to David before Solomon was born, he says that if he commit iniquity, he says, I will forgive him. I will rebuke him and forgive him for my own sake. God does not forgive you for your sake. He forgives you to maintain the heart of God. Your heart condition is your only currency for a destiny survivor. The moment your heart gets corrupted by unforgiveness, the moment people's actions to you changes your heart, then they have succeeded in turning an angel into a devil. Never let men make your heart to become the heart of a stone because the moment a man converts the heart of an angel to the heart of a stone, he will cheat you of encounters. You cannot enjoy God's presence with an unforgiving spirit. You can never enjoy encounter. Your prayer life will be fruitless if you cannot forgive people. The Lord says today, let go. Let them go. Set them free from your heart. If you are going to enjoy your walk with God, you must let them go. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let the capacity to forgive come upon you. Let the grace to let go come upon you. Let the, oh Jesus. There's somebody watching me right now who is hurt. There's somebody watching me right now who said, I will never speak to that person anymore. The Lord, I should tell you, work on your heart. Fix your heart. As you make peace with that person, the Lord will make peace with you. He says your encounter is tied to your ability to forgive that person. God bless you. God keep you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen.